but you said that our bodies are built on these. It's we we become what we eat. Is it possible, in your opinion, to detox from seed oils? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, your everyone knows the the sort of middle school stat that like every cell in your body is refreshed every at least uh, seven years at least. Um, so yeah, I, there's one piece of like actual research that looked into the sort of half life of PUFAs in the body, and that that research pointed it to be two years. Mm -hmm. So in two years, half the seed oils that are in your body today will be gone. Uh, if they're, you know, the ones that are stored in your tissues. And then two years from then, half of the ones that are there will be gone. So it takes about seven or eight, seven, eight, seven years to get to like 90% reduction from today if you stop immediately. Mm. And that's, of course, according to this one study that wasn't even, I think this was an accidental result of the study where he was looking into something else entirely, but like figured out that, hey, this is cool and worth mentioning. Um, however, that was not done in a in a setting where people were trying to actually detoxify seed oils from their body actively there are many things that you can do to help accelerate that process none of which have actually a ton of research on them because mm -hmm. no one has ever researched this <laughs> it's not really something that the nih has ever uh thought would be an interesting thing to know mm -hmm. uh for, for reasons that might be obvious to some people however they uh yeah so if you were to add in those like detoxification protocols if you will i would suspect that you could reduce the activity of seed oils in your body much more quickly and again anecdotally speaking i know so many people who are like i quit seed oils for three months and then i was able to tan mm -hmm. so i don't think it takes very long i'm sure it takes a while to get all of them out but i don't think it takes very long to get enough of it out um i will say though even if you do fully detox your body from seed oils, obviously it's possible for you to get sunburn. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not saying like seed oils are the root cause of sunburn. I'm saying they enable and accelerate sunburn, which could and and do, obviously does happen um, by, via, via other means, right? The skin can only tolerate so much sunlight, mm -hmm. just like you can put your finger in front of a flame quickly and it won't burn. But if you hold your finger in front of the fire, I don't care what your diet looks like, your finger's going to yep. burn. Um, and that's and that's certainly true So uh, of sunburn. So whenever it's the summer, you know, I know it's winter right now, people might go on holidays and somewhere warm or in a few months, you're going to be getting out there. Don't just show up to Fort Lauderdale for spring break in <laughs> three months and then like go from your cubicle fluorescent light, like sweater weather life for the past five months and then spend eight hours in the sun. I don't care what you eat, you're going to burn. Or even how dark you are. You, like <laughs> It's not good for you, right? Yeah. Just like anything else, you must build up a tolerance to it. It just happens to be the case that the seed oil content of our skin accelerates and enables the sunburn, uh, which certainly would naturally occur given enough dosage. Um, and then the other thing too, if you, if you naturally avoid seed oils, you're going to be eating more vitamin uh, or you're going to be eating more cholesterol-rich foods. Mm -hmm. And the other cool thing here is that UV light on your skin reacts with cholesterol to produce vitamin D. So if your body is starved of cholesterol, you could imagine how that reaction is unable to be completed. And so the UV has nowhere to go other than like kind of, you know, hitting into your skin cells. So I think those two things for tanning specifically are the most important. Eat cholesterol and don't eat seed oils. Hello friends, if you enjoyed that clip, then you can watch the entire thing by heading to this link over here, or you can find us wherever you find podcasts by searching Radical Health Radio. If there's value here, please hit that like button, let us know in a comment what your biggest takeaway was, and hit subscribe, support the show as we support you. We'll see you soon.